Today in this Splinterlands 101 video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Hive keychain, your wallet in this game so that you can use peak monsters to start renting and buying Splinterlands cards so you can earn your first DEC. Stay tuned. Hello, hola, camusa. This is Luke where I help Krills, the small investors, play to earn become whales one day ourselves. And today we have another Splinterlands 101, so I help you guys in this game get rolling start earning and today we're on my alt account where I've been doing that $1 to $1,000 series and I'm going to be on a different browser that I don't have the high key chain on so that I can set it up with you guys, show you what it's like and then from there uh, you can start using Peak Monsters which is a better uh, marketplace than Splinterlands itself and you should be able to make transactions, rent a thousand power if you want. I'll show you a quick guide that I do for renting on this account if you want to spend hardly any money in this game or you can start buying cards so that you can get over a thousand card power and start earning in this game. So if you bought the spellbook, you should have had a name change here. You're going to click on your name and to get your account keys, you're going to need for Hive. When you buy a spellbook, it essentially already just gives you a Hive wallet, but you just don't know it because Splinterlands uh, tries to introduce crypto to you slowly. So, you know, they want you to get into the game without even having to set up the wallet, but setting up the wallet is going to give us more features. So you're going to do request account keys and then you're going to submit request. What it's going to do is going to send you an email and then you're going to have to click on that email. So make sure you didn't put in a fake email. If you did, you might have to contact contact support or change your email because it has to be legit. You have to go into the email to actually do this. So submit request. I'm not going to show you my email because it's private, but essentially you should get a message just like this. And all you're going to do is click on the link. From that link, it should show you this where you can put your email address, your password for your Splinterlands account and then request your keys. From there, it's gonna show you your keys, obviously not blurred out, I'm blurring them out so no one knows my keys. But what you can do is you can either copy and paste each key owner, active and posting key into Hive Keychain, or if you wanna give Hive Keychain your master password, it will just import all three. You're gonna click on this button here to make sure you can go download and add this to your browser. You can see here you can get it for Chrome, Firefox, or Brave, so make sure you're using one of those browsers. Right now I'm using Chrome. Gonna add it to Chrome, simple as that. So from there, you're going to open up the Hive keychain and make a password for your account. And then once you come to this screen, this is where you're going to use your keys and your password. So you're going to come here and then grab your master password. You can click on the Hive keychain. You can see here, if you go use keys and password, it says your master password will not be saved and will only be used to generate your private keys. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Go ahead and enter in your actual in-game name. Again, that's the account name for your Hive keychain wallet. And then click import keys. And you should see posting key, active key, and a memo key. All you gotta do is hit save. So there we go. We can go to Splinterlands. We can click on the extension again. And you can see we are already logged into the Hive keychain. You won't need to put your keys in again. You just gotta remember your password. Unless you're going on a different device, then you're gonna have to get your keys once again. And then if you wanted to say like you're playing a second or third multiple account on Splinterlands, you can, it will be different technical Hive keychain wallets, but you can organize them all in the same extension here just by using your keys and passwords for your other account. And then all you got to do is flip back and forth between your accounts when you want to use each of them. Now, as I said earlier, I like using peak monsters uh, for a couple of reasons is you can get uh, auto bids in for cheaper cards. You can use it for renting a lot better. You can get rented power when you need it. And it's a, a lot more efficient to use peak monsters. You can also use monster market by logging into your hive keychain as well. Again, you just put in your hive username, the same username as before. And this, I use the monster market for buying instant cards so that uh, you actually get a percentage back in your Hive keychain wallet in DEC. I think they give you about 3% back. So let's say we wanted to buy Uraeus here on Monster Market. You can click just add to cart here. And then you can see how many credits or DEC you will need to purchase this card. Confirm. And there we go. Hive keychain is working for us on Monster Market. You can see it spent my DEC. We can go to my cards. And you can see one of the owned cards I have will be the Epic Uraeus right there. And then the second site I want to show you is Peak Monsters. So when you get to Peak Monsters, you're going to log in. And again, you can log in with your Hive keychain. Confirm it. You can click Do Not Prompt again if you don't want it to pop up again. And there you go. We can use the Peak Monsters market. And then if you don't have a bunch of money to spend, you're a Krill, a small investor, you can come to the rental page and we'll rent a few cards that will help you get to Bronze 2 power. And we'll just, if you use this strategy that have been spamming these streams, you can get all the way to Silver. 
So you can come in here and search on the rent function for any card that you'd like. And then you can even favorite them by hitting the star button. I favorited all the ones I like to get out of bronze with. And you can follow my stream and just copy this exact strategy. And honestly, again, I have played these cards here that just get you over a thousand power. I've gotten to a silver rating uh, and just been able to rent the rest of the power to start earning a bunch of DEC early on in the season. And I'll show you how to use the auto bid feature as well in a future video. All you have to do to rent them is add to your cart right here. If you select them all, and then you can come up here to your cart, select how many days you want. Usually I just do one day and then I come back to rent them later on. You can see if someone already rented that one, you can cancel it and then pick it back up so that you make sure that all these cards are rented. Sometimes it'll say that card was already taken and you can just pick up the next cheapest one from there. There you go, all those cards for one day will just cost you 2.5 DEC, which is just about you know one cent or so of money. It's not that much, eight credits, and so you can get on your way to earning DEC in this game. Now, if we go back to the Splinterlands game and we click rented to me, you can see all these rented cards. Some of these are more that I got for this account while playing in silver, but you should see some of the strategy that we were able to rent just from those favorites like the Feral Spirit, Silver Shield Knight, Silver Shield Assassin, Crystal Werewolf, Lorna Shine, and all these other cards were also rented. So if you rent those 12 cards that I just showed you, you should have over a thousand power, which will get you into bronze two. Once you hit the rating of 400, you need to make sure you hit the rating of 400, have that thousand power, and then it'll be a slow grind of DEC. But if you follow along in my $1 to thousand dollar streams, if you want to ask me questions in the discord, I will certainly help you out as much as possible. And we'll get you on your way to snowballing your account from krill to whale. So there you go. I hope that short tutorial was helpful for you. Again, if you have questions, put them in the comments. Join us in the Krill Crew Discord. Link in the description and in the comments if I remember. For now, peace out, Paul Alam. Adios, and have a great day, everyone. See you later.